So in this quick video, well not so quick, but in this uh, video I'm going to be kind of just showing off all the shops in the whole station because I don't think I've really seen a video um, showing off all the ships in the game basically. Well, like all the ships that you can buy in the shops right now. Um, all the dev made ships, I don't think they're all, I don't think any of them are player made ships, but uh, I'm not too sure on that. And uh... I wanted to start it out with uh, this shop right here that I found. It's called K-Bot. I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, so I figured I'd stop in real quick. And yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm going to cut out to some music or if I'm just going to kind of get into every ship. And I might do a part two on the video and just like basically demonstrate every ship. And I'm trying to buy a ship right now. So and we'll probably eventually get to that. Ooh, a little bit of lag, a little bit of lag. That's all right. So I'm actually not too sure what these are, but um, some probably not the uh, most instructive person to be demonstrating all the ships. But um, yeah, so we're just gonna go through and look at all of them. Looks like this one has a fair amount of uh, thrusters on the back. Quite a bit, actually. It's quite a sick looking ship. Quite the lag right now, hitting like 20 FPS though. I'm trying to figure out how to get inside of this guy. There should be a door that you can open on almost every ship. Alright, looks like I was able to find those doors. Looks like there's two of them, but I was able to find them, so. Let's see if I can open it. Come on. Open. There we go. Beautiful. Oh man, this thing is honestly absolutely amazing on the inside. Look at this. Like. This is what this game like this is what it this is what gets me right here. This ship is amazing. Look at the crates on the inside. You actually like got your cargo section like let's see, so there's a door here too. Okay. This just leads outward. I thought I might have left let in there. That might have been like a possibly a room in there. Alright. So we got doors on the other, either side. Nice big view here. Let's see if we have uh, lasers. We should with this uh, this kind of price. There we go. Yeah, one solid laser too. That's that's nice. ship is just lagging me out, so I'm going to try to get out of here. There we go. Ah, that's so much better. Alright, on to the next one. Now, I might not go into every ship just because it might take too long, but we're going to try to look at every ship, so. There we go. So I think this is kind of the same. I don't think there's too much different about this one. Oh, the cargo is more open. Looks like so you can actually like kind of do more with it. Okay. I think that's kind of the only change though. Yeah. So I wonder if this one's actually cheaper. This one's uh, yeah. Oh yeah. 593,000. Okay. Well, let's go on to the next guy over here. This looks like a pod racer. I'm liking it. 189,000 actually. You know, it's almost doable, but I don't know why I'd want this thing. I am looking for like a uh, ship uh, 
That would be super cool. Skywalker. Oh, I love it. The Skywalker ride, as I say. It looks like a pod racer. Oh, it's, oh I love it. Um, yeah, that is that is uh, that's sick right here. I'm looking for a fighter ship, though. For uh, Could you imagine? I want to fly this thing. Yeah, I'm looking for a fighter ship, though, uh, for... Um, be really cool to just be dispersing fighters out of a giant ship. I think that'd be really cool. Look at that though. Now this is really cool. Now, don't you just see Jar Jar over here getting uh, electrocuted? <laughs> oh, I love it. Looks like we got another little ship right here. I'm really liking this little guy. Super cool. Looks like we got a hatch or something. I was just closed, but. Actually, I don't know if I do like this guy. This guy's kind of kind of lame. Yeah, not not too much to look at. Either one of these. Not doesn't look like too much to look at really. Now, I don't know what this is. If this is like a mining laser, I gotta figure this out. What? What? If someone can leave down into the comments, what are these? I have no idea what these are. Let's see if I can figure it out just by clicking on something. Uh, responder. I guess I'm not transponder. Not too many buttons, so I'm guessing it doesn't do much. So yeah, if any of you know what it does, let me know. Alright, well, seriously, that's probably uh, it for our first uh, shop, K-Bot. Love it, love the name. Gonna be heading off to our next shop now. Alright, on to our next little, uh, well, next little. This one does not seem as little, but we'll see what it's like. Um, our next shop here, it's right next to the ship design workshop. Is the Sunny Ship Center? It's the red one. I think there's a few of them. So there's that one, and uh, there's more that we will go check out. But as of right now, we're just gonna check out this one. So it doesn't look like much in here. It looks like a giant warehouse. I think I have my light on. Let me shut that off. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Alright, starting off we have this little guy, no idea, I guess it would be like, maybe good for grabbing asteroids, I, I have no idea the purpose of that thing, so we're just going to continue on. Okay, so some like, semi decent looking ships here. decent looking cheaper ships than even what I'm getting. So we're gonna open that, there we go. Alright, I like this. Kinda got a, like a cargo bay. Or like a, like a little not even a cargo bay, like a like a little seating area here, which I really like. Press this button and see where we go. To the engine room. Oh, this is super sick. If I find something that uh, I think I'd rather buy than build, I might just go ahead and do it. Call me lazy. <laughs> I know building a ship is uh, a little bit more work than I thought it was in this game, but I mean, that is. Uh, kind of something cool. It's going to make it an experience trying to figure out how to build a ship for the first time. It's kind of like one of these open designs. I don't know how I feel about these to be honest. I'm guessing you can maybe trap asteroids in the middle. I am not too sure what this bay right here would be for. Maybe you just fill it up with your own cargo containers if you wanted to. Um, I'm sure you can use it for a lot. So yeah. No idea. 
what's going on. Okay. Interesting. Is like maybe one of these if you like operated like kind of like a mining company or a mining crew. So a lot of the, a lot of what I've talked about recently has just been strictly mining, and it hasn't been too much of uh, like exploration. But when I go to, because I already got the mining ship I want to buy, kind of chose them out. But I think when I want to go and go ahead and try to explore. I might come here and uh, I might find a ship. I might go and uh, use this, use my own video's preference, look around and uh, see what I'm going to buy in the future if I want to buy a new ship. Look at this thing. This thing is so stupid. It's a little tiny. Oh my goodness. So dumb. Does it even have a. Like, it doesn't even have any main rockets. I'm so confused. I guess it just shows the limit of what you can just simply build in this game. I wonder how much this thing is. I could buy it right now. <laughs> I think my labor module is a little bit better than that, to be honest. Nothing, nothing too impressive, to be honest. This one's kind of cool. It's like we got like two cockpits. I don't know why. That's kind of interesting. All right. I guess it's, I mean like this would be like this is a great demonstration. Like if you and your friend wanted to get on here and you both wanted to play this game. Um, it's a great demonstration on what you can build for like a two-man team. Let's check out the inside of this one. Kind of liking it. We got stairs coming up here. I'm guessing this might be the main cockpit. Could be totally wrong. Co-pilot light, okay. Nice. So you have a co-piloting and a piloting. Let's just hop in the piloting so This is, uh, I mean, kind of weird. I like it. Is that the only way in and out of that? Alright. It's a little different. Nice. Super sick setup. Alright, so I went and explored all back through there, I think, and kind of back that way of the, the facility a little bit, and all throughout that front area a little bit. It's really cool to see how extensive these uh, places are. So I'm coming up here because I've seen uh, like a, kind of a side shop or something up here, and I wanted to see if it actually sold anything, but I really don't think it does. Uh, it's kind of cool. Alright. Another one right here. Alright, well I think that's gonna finish it up for this shop. Time to start heading over to the next one. Alright, so I believe this is the third shop we've uh, arrived at. It's, uh, first one was up there, KBOT, and I made a swoop around and to this one, which was the Sunny Ship Center, and now on to this one, which is right next to the last one we just explored, and right next to the Easy Build Hall. So if you cross across the Easy Build Hall, you'll find this shop. Looks like we got a fairly decent looking ship right here, I don't know, looks uh, like a lot of weird bolt placement. <laughs> fairly interesting mining ship I'm guessing. 
and off to this side, uh, looks like we got something very similar. Maybe with like an actual like inside, I don't know. No. Alright, well we'll head off to this side, the lobby apparently. Alright, the lobby leads you right to an exit, alright. Well that was that, no. Okay, looks like we got something very similar to the last uh, Sunny Lab ship. Uh, looks like we got one of these things. I don't even know what to call that. Something that looks very similar to the labor module. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We have this freaking skeleton thing. I don't even know. <coughs> I'm confused on why you would buy this. If anyone would explain to me why you'd buy some some of these ships, is this really a labor module? Labor module V2. I think mine beats it. To be quite fair, it's kind of funny. So if you wanted to instead uh, buy a new labor module and uh, instead of uh, spawning one, I guess uh, here you go. <laughs> oh man, I don't really think there's too much to check out at this uh, shop if they're selling labor modules. So little tiny ships over here. I don't even know if that's a ship. Okay. Just some fairly interesting ships I don't know what to think of. really don't think there's too much things that are pretty cool to look at right here so we're gonna head off to the next store because yeah the store is kinda lame I'm, I'm just gonna say it <laughs> not recommended alright well I'm not too certain what these are for sure if they're uh, shops or what but we're just gonna go ahead and explore them and uh, see what exactly they are so I'm not too sure where it's not going to despawn. Actually, I think I can fly it right up on top of the building without it despawning. recently has been outstanding, I do not know why. Alright, definitely a shop right here. Looks like we got three of them up here to explore. Okay, the lag is a little immense. I'll wait for it to get a little better. All right, this is uh, this is pretty neat. A big ass engine room in here. Plenty of uh, storage for your fuel cells. Yeah, really nice looking ship. Just gonna get out of there. Well, 
this one spawn in. There we go. Look at this big guy. This is pretty sick. So I'm guessing the door is right here. If I can hit the... Let's see if I can get up here. There we go. This is nice. Big storage, big storage, I like it. There's the door. This one. Open it up. Got two uh, crew chairs here. Pilot's chair. And then lower deck. Like how they added a little ladder there. Oh whoa. Alright. Interesting. Very interesting little ship here. Looks like we got another little ship right here. Look at this thing, it's so tiny. 50,000 credits though. Why, what's up with this guy? Hmm? Kind of interesting. Love to see all like companies and empires grow in this game and use these little ships. little speeder bike thing. I don't think you can buy it, but... Look at these little things. Bunch of little ships. I hate having to wait for ships to load in. It's like, just come on, come on, just load in. I guess I get it. Alright, so I don't know what you'd use this for, but here it is. <laughs> kind of interesting. Salvage, huh? Showroom number two. What in the name? I'm very confused with this. And look at this. This thing is massive. Whatever it is, it's about to load in. Oh, 
I think this just crashed my game. Maybe. Oh no. Yep. No. Yep. No. Are you serious? My game crashed because of this? Okay. Well, this isn't even too much to look at. I don't think. It's too cool. I don't know what this is. One, two, three, four, six, five, six. I'm guessing it's a giant. Yeah, it's like a giant asteroid scooper. Just scoop asteroids up with this thing. <laughs> That's one way of doing it. So I believe we checked out everything in this hangar. I don't think I missed anything. We checked out these little guys, the speeder bike that doesn't even have a price. Um. I don't know if I really checked out this guy. Can't remember. Let's look at it real quick. Oh, it's got a little crew section down there. I like crew sections in my ships. I think it looks good. <coughs> so yeah, we're just gonna open up the door here and... Come on, if I can, 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 if I can. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Look at this. It's like a transport vehicle. Now that is cool. Could you imagine having a moon base set up and having to like literally set up a transport company or something like that? That'd be kind of sick, I ain't gonna lie. Someone literally has a moon city built. <clears throat> Come on guys, I'm suggesting so many ideas here. Let's build a moon city on this this game. Let's do it. All right, yeah, I checked out that showroom. All right, so uh, I think I checked out everything in this uh, this shop. It's time to move on to the next one. So as I was moving from uh, this shop over to the next shop over there I found this guy in the middle and I don't know if someone bought this or built this but if someone built this this is amazing just for getting around like uh, the um, station here for what I'm doing this would be perfect I'd love to be able to sit in this and just coast it around make this video a lot quicker <laughs> Yeah, I just thought I'd share that cool little, uh, I guess what you could use a speeder bike for if you wanted to build one. Probably be a lot cheaper than buying one, to be honest. And they seem pretty simple. I think even someone like me can build something like that. Might even be one of the first things I do build just to start out, because I'm not too familiar. Alright, so off to this showroom. Looks like it's pretty empty. We got this little ship over here. Not much to look at, to be honest. Anymore after viewing so many. Honestly, never mind. I don't know how I like this. This is weird. You kind of sit back. You have to kind of look down at your seat. That is weird. Okay, that is uh, that is actually different. How the how that's angled got me all messed up. <laughs> now, I, I don't know, personally I don't really like this, like it's cool for creation, but I don't know. Actually, I, I, I changed my mind, now, now I do like it. <laughs> I just had a, like, like a vibe from like, uh, like the flying vehicles from from uh, that just kind of reminded me of the flying vehicles from Star Wars. So does this actually. I 
this one more than the other one, but that's kind of cool. Alright, sorry, I had to cut out there for a minute, but onto the scenery showroom of this shop. something that just went down. Go back up. Took me a second to figure out where the handle lives on this thing to uh, open and close the hatch, but that is really cool. It's like a jet plane or a fighter jet, how it's opening. I don't know if there is guns attached to this thing, but there should be. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, this thing is super cool. A little, like, fighter spaceship. Onto oh, this little thing. I don't know what you could use this for. That's what I've said about a lot of the ships that I've seen. Probably mainly just like an exploring, like, some of these ships you can only explore with, I think, because, I mean, that's all, it's the only purpose I see some of them being used for unless you add on to them or edit them somehow. So, I don't think this, uh, shop has too much to offer. Yeah. Just one little showroom it looked like. I don't think there's much else. I don't think I uh, seen this a little bit yet. This ship doesn't look uh, familiar. I think that's pretty cool. It's got like four guns on the wings and uh, cool little fighter kind of aircraft here. just open that that's pretty cool all right so we just got done reviewing that ship for a little bit it's time to review the ship Looks like another, like, transport ship. wonder how many ships I've looked at total already. Like, clearly over 50. There's more that I'm probably going to look at. This kind of would be cool as, like, a docking ship. Again, another like transport vehicle could be used for multiple situations in the game. Could be used for military purposes and civilian purposes. Transporting people from moon to moon now. Or even used to transport a bunch of people during battle. So pretty cool. this little guy over here nothing with any like uh, mining crates on it or anything so nothing mining application wise just uh, looks like a bunch of uh, military kind of vehicle alright well I think that uh Finishes. Nope, nope. Keep finding more ships. Oh, that's a big guy. I'm liking it. I'm 
not sure if it's uh, even a transport vehicle at all or if it's just a giant fighter vehicle. Oh, there we go. Giant tank for exploring the outer reaches of space. This thing is super cool. A plus on this one. Another fighting vehicle over here. No uh, real cockpit, but I kind of like how you're sitting down in the, in the vehicle with these ones. Kind of makes you makes it feel more secure, I guess. Oh, and then we got this big guy. That never ends. I feel like I'm in a maze in this one at this point. It doesn't help that I had to come back and <laughs> record the video the next day couple days later. This video has spanned out for a few days now. It's my tight schedule. This thing is actually wicked cool. I'm liking it. Man, this thing is... This thing is really really something else. No, 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 I want to find a door. Yeah, thank you. Come back to me. There we go. filled with cannons. Not only that, the uh, loads of other things you can put down here. Okay. Looks like we got side doors here. man crew position, that's nice, that's cool. I wonder how that kind of works. I'm sure one guy can operate it though. It is a massive, massive ship. Probably, probably the biggest one I've seen so far that's like an actual like ship for like battle. That's, I don't know, like for battle, but I don't know, super cool. It's like we got another little fighting vehicle down here. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Another one off to the side over here. Bunch of guns attached to the front of this guy. Come on, load in, load in. Alright. Just another another little fighting vehicle. This room has, uh, has four of them. They're all pretty similar. Well, I think it's off to the next shop now for sure. Looks like I'll be heading into the side entrance of this last shop. It actually looks kind of bigger than these uh, other two that I went to.
And we got this big showroom right here. Some very similar ships that we've seen before. Let's see, let's, let's look at this one. Oh yeah. I feel like I've already been in this one. Just take a quick look around. Nothing too uh, spectacular to look at. Okay, okay. It's kind of cool. Okay. That is kind of cool. Very weird. So I don't know if these are mining lasers or if they are miniguns. Okay, we got a kind of a big big ship. Something moving. Alright. So battleships in the other one and mining ships in this one, alright. I think it was kinda of like mining and like like defensive mining ships in the other one, you know, like I kind of like this one, like some, like they have guns and, uh, and possibly mining lasers it looks like, you know, because of the storage crates, but they have guns on them too. So I think that would be more useful in battle, you know, after you take out a ship you probably want some storage containers to actually loot the ship. But if you have a big colossal ship, then... You know the little fighters are more more valuable because you can add more armor and add uh, uh, more guns instead of just uh, so just lasers. So I explored OKI one, OKI three, and then made it over here to OKI two. So I think I uh, explored all of them. I don't know if the shops vary from uh, um, station to station, but I believe they don't. I believe they're the same for every station. Correct me if I'm wrong. Alright, now we're in a head on over to the other side over there and explore those shops over there. It's gonna be the vintage shipyard and like the epic sh shipyard and uh, a few others, so. Looks like we got six shops over here to explore. I don't know if all of them are full, but we're gonna check them out, so. We're gonna start up here on the left side, work our way to the blue, or work our way to the right side. And then explore those two being our last ones.
All right, so on to the uh, other side of the station here. We started all the way over there at the I don't know Skybot. I forgot I forgot what it was called already, but that went all the way over there and kind of worked our way around. And now we're on this side. I don't think there's any shops right here on this side of the station at all. But there's also the uh, command station or command center that has uh, like the the what well, you can open up right here the um, auction site. So all right. Well, I'm liking the purple and the the blue. I think that's cool. Cool looking, cool colors. I'm liking it. I'm going to try to speed up this video because I know it's going to be a long one, but would you just look at this engine? Is this an engine? I think it's supposed to look like an engine, but I don't think it is one. And if it is one, holy crap. Yeah, I definitely don't think it is, though. I gotta find a way in this thing. Looks like I can't even find the, the entrance on this ship, so... I don't know, I'm probably just gonna move on to the next one over here. Have it load in here. There we go. And there we don't go. <laughs> Come on, just load back in now. Stop being a pain. There we go. Alright, this one I can export the inside of. Looks like we've got a relatively visible button for a door. This looks amazing. Pretty cool. Oh my goodness. What is this? I am very confuddled. This is, uh. This is intense. That's all I gotta say. There has to be some reason for this must be uh, power efficient, like really power efficient somehow. Okay, I'll just close this door. It just shuts everything off, all right. Okay. That's kind of cool. The chair just flips around. I don't know how to flip it back around. There we go. That's really neat. That kind of shows the, uh, that you can even flip your chair around in this game. It's kind of cool. Have your ship do that. And this, this ship's just bugging me out. So we're going to the next one. Now I have a weird feeling that the rest of these ships are going to be kind of similar with a lot of generators and a uh, weird power setup. Very interesting boxy design.
has another weird cylinder that I don't think does anything. Looks like a thruster. Alright, we got another ship right here. I guess we'll look at it real quick. Load. See, it's like magic. Alright, there we go. Alright. Okay. It's kind of neat. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Another one I can't figure out how to get into. Not too worried. I'm sure, it's just some click of a button. All right, we got another ship here. Alright, they're making progress. I like it. Cool captain's quarters. Weird little uh, area here. Don't know what any of these ships are uh, used for. They're all just designed a little different. They're all designed pretty cool, pretty weird. <laughs> a little angry face. I like it when the ga glass flips up. I think that's cool, but I don't like how you get into this, uh, this ship. It's a little weird. something for some sort of mining application. Got some mining crates on it. Storage crates, whatever. Going on to this side of the showroom. Looks like uh, another weird uh, generator room. Loads of uh, fuel cells. Alright, got this big ship right here. I don't know how to get into the top of.
right, for the rest of this, uh, this shop, I'm just gonna go around, no commentary, and, uh, show you these, uh, these ships. Alright, I think that kicks it for this shop. We're going to go over to the Epic Shipyard, which is going to be the next one. Alright, on to the Epic Shipyard, and uh, I think the same goes with this one. We're just going to explore a little bit with a little bit of commentary. And I might just go into the rest of it without commentary, because... Yeah. I might just... We'll see, during the editing I might speed it up, but uh, this is uh, this definitely deserves commentary. I don't know what this is, but... Uh, okay. <laughs> this thing is definitely epic. I don't know what it's used for. It looks like a giant silo, though. Giant space silo. Well, as you can see, we get a great view of the uh, engine department um, of this uh, the ship here that I just glitched all the way through. Um, I don't know how I'm going to fix this, but I'm going to try to fix this now. I'm going to just log out and log back in. Alright, I'm back on the ship I was just uh, glitched out into. I'm a little scared to get it back on it, you know? <laughs> All 
Alright, I'm going to continue with the no commentary uh, tour of uh, this, uh, this building here, so... On the bail star here. Doesn't look like too much in this hangar. Just this one ship. Kinda like the color pattern on it, I ain't gonna lie. Alright. Alright, looks like we got more in here. Pretty decent looking ship with a little cannon on it. Not epic uh, storage yard. That ship uh, that was uh, like a fucking space tank. That thing was pretty cool. One that said, Don't shoot me on it. <laughs> Alright.
I don't think there's actually much in this one. Ain't much at all. Let's see this little ship on the other side. thing it looks pretty cool looks like a Batman throwing star <laughs> all right well I think that was basically it for this little uh, hanger on to the next one Alright, on to the vintage ships, where I'm going to be buying my ship in the uh, next episode of uh, my Starbase series, anyway. So, we're pretty familiar with this front hangar. I'm looking at these, uh, these odd-looking ships. That's going to be the ship I'm going to buy. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen the Starbase series, go check it out. We'll be uh, doing uh, videos on that as uh, as I just continue to play the game. So videos on that will be coming. Videos on my on Starbase will be coming out for a minute. So on this channel. So of course I go to the one that I'm going to buy, which is uh, this one. Very close to to getting it. And we've checked out this ship many times on the channel, so already. So we're gonna be coming back here. We got uh, some neat like uh, coloring, coloring here. Oh wait, well, I kind of changed my mind. I thought it looked pretty cool uh, when it was just black and uh, gold, but. Uh, I don't know about this side. What do we got here? I wonder if I orient myself uh, sideways, if it'll be easier to read, which is kind of funny. Alright, load back in. Of the brand. Okay. Well, what a very interesting little poem there. Uh, I couldn't even hardly get through it all. If you want to come read it, it's on the Vintage Shipyard. And I recommend you orient yourself on uh, this back post right here. Just uh, sideways, just like that. Come up to it. Don't get stuck on something like I did. There you go. And you can orient yourself to uh, read that. That's uh, it's a little weird, a little, little creepy, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, okay, well, the vintage shipyard is full of creepy messages.
Okay, I'm gonna sound like a preacher if I read that, so <laughs> we're not going to. Only because the way it's wrote, the way I'd read it would uh, definitely, like, <laughs> I don't know, tell me if you guys read that, uh, pause it and read it, um, tell me if you read that like, uh, like you were like, I don't know, the little voice in your head was like, preaching it to you, it was a little weird. Alright, on to this next little bit of the, the vintage shipyard here. Holy massive heck. Look at the storage containers on this thing. It's practically made of them. Now that is ridiculous. I'm kind of curious. Do I even, like, not even, not, not even come close to any. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can see why this ship is uh, expensive. Talk about a mining ship. Now if you wanted to... You can buy this if you had the time and the effort. You could buy this and just with a team become your own solo company and just mine like so much make so much I'm sure this thing has mining lasers on it if you don't want to use the mining lasers I'm sure you can connect in spots if not then uh, I'm sure you can add spots to connect to wow how amazing is this I think the Vintage Shipyard has to be my favorite shipyard of all, so far. And look at this one, this one I feel like is going to be very similar, yes. Crap load. Probably very similar design too. Yes. I'm liking it. Alright, so it's like a another model of the that ship. Very cool. Notice that sometimes they'll uh, in some of these shops they'll have a more expensive and a cheaper model, so Alright, off to the next room. some goofy looking thing here. Oh, it's a chestboard. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is cool. Now, wouldn't it be cool if I could play it? I want to play on it. That is sick. Super cool. Alright. Okay, back on to the, the main entrance here. Alright. Well, that's, uh, that's it for the Vintage Shipyard. And uh, two more um, shops left to explore. Thank goodness we're going to almost be done with this. It's been so much exploration. I think it started, yeah, K-Bot, there we go. Like Kmart. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one, Dinostar. Alright. Two left. And then what is that one? Quaystar over there? Systems? Dinostars? Alright.
Alright, on to our last and final shop to explore. It's been a long video. Looks like this is going to be a fun one. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess I saved the best for last, huh? That is loud. <laughs> this thing is actually really cool. Wow, okay, the detail. That thing is super cool. What do we got here? Fighter jet? Nice. Now we're coming to the end of this video, but I could have done this whole video without commentary and just kind of went through uh, every shop, but I decided to uh, kind of commentate over the whole thing. Um, well, most of it. So I do hope you enjoy it. Comment, uh, my commentary. Oh my... Okay, that is, uh, that is very, 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 very loud. <laughs> what else do we got? Very cool aircraft here. I feel like it's out of a movie or uh, something I've seen before. Almost looks like a Halo craft, but I'm not sure. It says Wolverine on the side. That should should give me a hint, but maybe not. Well, that was super cool too. All right. I ain't gonna lie, this is uh, probably one of my favorite favorite shops so far. I mean, I personally probably wouldn't buy any of the uh, the vehicles in the in the shop, but man, the detail is immense on them. Very amazing. Very neat. Alright, well. One last little room to explore here with a tank, it looks like. Yep. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't know if it's an actual operating cannon. I don't do not think so. Actually, it is. It looks like it. That's really cool, okay. And uh, looks like a tribute to the Red Baron, possibly. Very neat. Stealth bomber, nice, super sick. I 
a helicopter over here. All right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, I think that's everything. So, pretty sure that was every shop in the game. Well, every shop at the station anyway, so at the origin stations. If you enjoyed the video, even though I know this was a long one, and if you made it all the way through, make sure to leave a like, make sure to comment, and tell me what your favorite ship was. Out of the hundreds of ships we uh, explored through today, tell me what your favorite ship was. Um, yeah, go ahead, leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe to uh, the channel for more content on Starbase. And uh, hey guys, sorry for the video cutting out there at the end, but like I was saying, if uh, you made it through this one hour and 20 minute long video, go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and comment your favorite ship that you've seen in the video, and uh, go ahead and subscribe for more starbase content i try to post uh starbase content uh weekly so yeah go ahead and leave a like hope you all enjoyed